Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Man, I love this star screen. I just wish you'd stand out in my collection a little bit more. Hey! Patriot Prime? Have you heard of ToyHacks.com? Yeah, I watch you and you talk about them all the time, but I've never ordered anything. Here, put these Toy Hacks decals on your star screen and tell me what you think. Hey, how'd you do that? Okay, give me a few minutes to put these on. A few moments later. Wow, Patriot Prime. Toy Hacks made my figure look amazing. I'm going to order some more right now, and I'll tell them Patriot Prime sent me. Thank you. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display, and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series 86, Junk Heap. Now, Junk Heap here is a figure based on one of Retgar's Junkion soldiers. So it looks like Hasbro is going the same route as Star Wars and giving us figures based on background characters. I cannot wait to get the Studio Series 86 figure for this guy. Come on, Hasbro, give us Kranix. That's one we have waited years for. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. This is Hasbro's new tamper-proof box, so you can reach right in and mess with Junk Heap, who is displayed in robot mode. We got Transformers on the side, Studio Series 86, Transformers the movie, and Junk Heap. And there's some great looking art of Junk Heap coming right at you on the front of the box. Side of the box, same artwork, just a little bit closer. Back of the box, you got Junk Heap in motorcycle mode, robot mode, and a picture featuring the backdrop. This side of the box is more of that great artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Junk Heap opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Studio Series 86 Junk Heap all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with the signature Junkion weapon, the Fidget Spinner Axe. This is the exact same weapon that Retgar comes with. And he also comes with two wheels, one thin and one thick. And then, of course, you've got Junk Heap himself. Now, I was originally going to pass on Junk Heap because all I thought he was was Studio Series 86 Retgar with a completely different head. Man, I was wrong. When I opened this guy up out of the packaging, I was so impressed. Let me go ahead and bring in Studio Series 86 Retgar so we can do some comparisons. And please take note that my Studio Series 86 Retgar has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. Now, as far as the differences between the two figures, the head sculpt, of course, is different. The chest is completely different. The shoulders are completely different. Let's see, the bicep, torso's the same. Forearms are completely different. Junk Heap also has some panels there attached to the forearms. The crotch area is the same. The saddlebags are the same. Thighs and lower legs are the same. The top of the feet are different. And that's about it. So there is a lot of differences between Junk Heap and Retgar. 
and I am so thrilled with that. I have a completely different figure now, and that is awesome. So now, taking a closer look at the figure, love the head sculpt. That looks so good. Paint applications are top notch. Love the little bull horns right there on the helmet. The spikes on the shoulder pads are a nice touch. You got a little bit of yellow right there. Lots of details on the chest, and I love the pipes. That is just so cool. Torso, exactly the same as Retgar with a red center there. No paint applications. As we go down, just colored plastic. And one thing I will take note is the spikes. My Retgar, when I got him, a couple of his spikes were bent really bad and I had to use the boiling water trick. This is straight out of the package and the spikes are perfect. So great job Hasbro on packing this guy right with straight spikes. Now articulation for Junk Heap, the head's on a ball joint, can look up and down, do a complete 360. He does have nice tight joints. The horns can move, but that's for transformation. Arms can do a complete 360. There is a bicep swivel. There is a bicep bend. There is wrist rotation, though very tight. Waist rotation, a little bit of an ab crunch because of transformation. Legs can go out. They can go in, and they're on a soft ratchet. Love that. So up, back, there is a knee bend, another tight joint. There is a rotation at the thigh, and there is a foot swivel. I kind of like how that's the bottom of the foot only. So yeah, he also has these really cool panels on his arms with spikes. So he's got these cool shields and this arm actually has a blaster attached. Now I do want to point out that the wheels can store just like Retgars. You slide them over the spikes and you can store them on the knees like so but you can't store them on the forearms like shields. These little panels are in the way. So let's see. Yeah, it will not work. You could move that out of the way, but it still won't fit because the tire, the wheel, doesn't clear the panel, as you can see right there. So the panels are gonna stay in place. And if you wanna store the wheels on junk heap, they're going down on the knees. And I don't think that looks bad at all. It adds to his different look from Retgar. Then of course you do have his fidget spinner ax that can go in either hand. So there you go. You've got Junkie all armed and ready for battle. And let's go ahead, just because he's here, bring in Retgar once again. So you can see the two together and I think those two are going to display great. To transform Junk Heap into his motorcycle mode, the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and remove the wheels from the knees and place those to the side and remove his axe. Now his transformation is just like Retgar's but with a couple extra steps. Now first thing we're going to do, bring the arms forward and fold the fists up and under just like so. Bring the arms up and rotate to where the spikes are facing back, just like so. Now we're gonna pull the chest down and extend it out, just like that. Bringing this section here forward slightly and right back here, the motorcycle canopy, we're gonna to wanna to pull that out. So once we get that up and out of the way and go ahead and extend the windshield here, we're going to tuck Junk Heap's head after we move the horns back, just like so. Now those are a soft plastic. Just now notice, you're gonna bring the head up and under the canopy while pushing this in, just like so, to try to get that flat. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and extend this section here. Bring this forward. Get the head up in there. Always on camera is when this wants to screw up. So there we go. Now we're going to bring the arms in and they're going to go around this little red section here. Just like so. 
and you've got these little sections here, you're going to want to flip these around. His armor, armor, armor plating. Can't even talk. So get those out of the way. That way, you can see these little slots right there is where they're going to tab in to the chest section. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and straighten this up. Bring the chest out. Bring the hood down so you've got the head completely covered. The arms tabbed in. We'll go ahead and take the thinner wheel and we'll have to un unpeg one of the arms. Go ahead and put the wheel there and these holes and squeeze together then peg the arm section in and now we've got the front of the motorcycle all complete now for the rear we have this section here extended out go ahead and straighten that bring the feet down and then you've got these little tabs or these little slots right here are going to match up to the tabs right there if you can see that Next up, we're going to take the wider wheel, and there are holes there in the back. Go ahead and slot one wheel in to one of the holes, and then line it up to the other. Once you get that squeezed in, take this side here, bring the foot up, and peg this foot in to the slot. And then when you bring the shield around, there's a slot right there that you're going to line up with the shield. Get that pegged in. Oh. Get everything squeezed together. And there we have Junk Heap in motorcycle mode. And I like his motorcycle mode better than Retgar's. It's a little beefier looking. It has a wider gas tank up here. The extra armor on the sides really fill out some of the gaps, except for that big one right there. But yeah, he is really cool. Lots of molded detail. I like the spikes there along the side. And the collars work really, really well, though this gas tank is a little plain. And I like the way his head hides in the canopy there. It hides in just a little bit better than what Retgar's did. But yeah, a big beefy motorcycle and just like Retgar he does have those kickstands there on the back so you can stand him up and now we'll bring in Studio Series Retgar for comparisons so there you go you can take a good look at them side by side as I said Junk Heap is just a beefier looking bike than Retgar he's more of a battle bike if you will and I just love the differences so that's really, really cool. So, yeah, I mean, the wheels roll good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can store the fidget spinner axe right here on the back, just like Studio Series Retgar. It's right there. So he now has a propeller. I personally don't do that. I dig him just the way he is, and that's just awesome. He just needs a little bit more deco. And yes, Retgar can ride Junk Heap or vice versa, though the robot mode does look a little too big for the vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap with Generation 1 Retgar, Power of the Primes Retgar, and once again with Studio Series 86 Retgar. Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap turned out to be quite the fun Transformers toy and way more than just a simple retool of an existing figure. I love the robot mode. I love the motorcycle mode. I mean, this guy just knocked it out of the park and really impressed me. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap. So... Does a Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. I was originally going to pass him up because I thought it was just going to be a minor retool of Retgar. But man, Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this guy. There is so many 
differences. They just did a great job with this figure, and dare I say it, I think I like him better than Redgar. He's got a great robot mode, great motorcycle mode, though it is a little plain, but I'm sure Toy Hacks is going to fix that. So yeah, if you see Junk Heap on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.